Hello everyone, I'm TJ Oogie and welcome back to the third part of our achievement tutorial. This tutorial we're going to actually finish our achievements. Uh, if you remember the last tutorial we created the uh, achievement variables and the achievement database. And this, in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're start on the main menu script. What we need to do is add using system dot collections dot generic and then what we want to do is go back down into our uh, public class for our script and go underneath the GUI skin and we're going to type in a few things uh, first we need a private int score y slot and I'm going to have 20 achievements, so I'm going to keep that as 20. And then I need a public list achievement variables. We call it achievements. We call it equals a new list achievement variables. What we're going to do is the same underneath, public list. Achievement variables. Of course one slot equals new li list achievement variables. So at the moment we're creating a list from our achievement variable script. We're going to call this one achievements and we just say it's a new list. And this one here is a, from the same achievement variables. This one we'll call a slot achievement variables. This will come in handy because the slots are what is, is standard and the achievements are what we're going to add in on top of the empty slots. Similar to how you'd make a inventory in a game. You'll have empty slots and then items will fill the empty slots. In this case it'll be achievements. Now underneath we need to create a private achievement database and then give it a name. I'm going to call it achievement achievement database, a database. And then I'm going to create a private ball underscore show show achievement menu and then a private string and call it achievement menu and then I'm going to create a private int let's go achievement unlocks Now what I need to do is further down, actually I create it here as well, keep all the achievements, achievement variables in the same list. We're going to create a uh, window. Uh, to do this, what we do is we're going to need a window ID. So what we're going to do is create a private const for constant int. And my constant variables I tend to keep as capital letters, so I'm going to call it achievement underscore window underscore id equals zero. I'm going to create a private rect, not, not read. Yeah. Private rect, there we go. Underscore uh, achievement window rect. This is the s basically the window dimensions of the window we want to create, like uh, what position it is and the size. And then we're going to say equals 
new wrecked screen I want it in the center of my screen uh, even space on the top and the bottom and the sides so I'm going to put screen dot width divided by 4 so it take it starts at a quarter of the span of it cuts down the screen into four there my words saying divided by four is cutting the screen into four sections uh, so this will start at a quarter of the width of the screen so I'll leave a, a gap a fairly substantial gap from the left hand side of the screen depending on what sort of screen it resizes to conform to the screen size and then I want to just start from 10 from the top and then the screen dot width divided by 2 minus 10 and then screen dot height minus 20 what this basically does is it's I've started the window at a quarter of the screen size doing it from 10 from the top so it will start about here about and then I've said it's half the screen size so it takes up to about here and then minus 10 which I'm not entirely sure why I've got in there and then screen dot height minus 20 so basically what we're doing is because we've got 10 that it starts from 10 from the top to make it 10 from the bottom we need to take away 20 so it takes away the normal 10 plus the 10 that has been pushed down already so it starts off at 20 now what we need to do is underneath that keep a private vector 2 achievement scroll position equals vector two dot zero whoops there we go what this basically is, this is setting up our vector two for the scroll wheel we're going to be having on the side of the achievements menu Whew. now with that done uh, We're going to come down to the void start and I'll add them in the top one up. I'm going to do a 4 int i equals 0 is the i equals 0 if i is less than underscore y slot i plus plus. Basically, what I'm saying is we are delegating i, and we're saying i is zero. And if i is less than the count of y slots, so in the case we have 20, i is plus plus. So basically, what this is going to do is it's going to count, it's going to increase i's value to 20, executing the script we have here. In, and when this hits 20, it will stop executing what's in this in the brackets now. So I'm gonna do slots dot add I'm gonna say new achievement variables and achievements dot add new achievement variables. 
So you see before we have slots and achievements we are literally just saying we should add the slots first and then we add the achievements over the top of the slots. So we have achievements to put in the slots. When executing scripts it's always good to remember that the script executes from the top to the bottom. So if you have this at the top it's going to add the slots before it does the achievements. If I swap these around it will do the achievements before the slots. Now under this script I want to put underscore a database equals game object dot find game object with tag and we're going to call it achievement database dot get component achievement variable achievement uh, database now this should this is if we noticed we've keep adding achievement variables here well the achievement database if you remember it has all of our achievements in it now this is we are going to create a game entity up here and it's going to find this and this could that's going to have our achievement database script attached to it. So then what we want to do is we want to move on to creating the achievement list. So I'm just going to mark this down so I can so it's more easy to find where the achievement list is. What I'm going to do is if uh, player prefs dot has key. Uh, what achievements do we have? Welcome to my game. Welcome to my game. Add achieve Add Achieve <coughs> I just realized why this isn't working. But now I'm gonna leave that because we need to Add in a couple of uh, scripts first, and we will pad out the achievements in a second because this is the achievements we're going to add. So it would help. It would be nice. I mean, if we find somewhere to add them. Uh, Oh, we'll just add them at the bottom. Avoid achievements display, and we're going to say int achievements. So window underscore id. Now I just need to double check to make sure that there. That achievement window ID is correct. Yeah, achievement window ID here. Now, basically, just set this out, and if you see down here, oh, it's went back from red now. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this name quickly because at the moment that's doing nothing. We've not added that to the ongui function. So we go back to our ongui function here. We 
we need to do is create this. Let's go. What's the ball I called it? Show achievement menu. If I'm just going to show achievement menu equals equals true. Then what we need to do is say underscore achievement window rect is equal to a GUI dot window and then call it achievement window ID underscore achievement window rect and then we need to add our achievements display in here and then give it a name uh, achievements achievements and I'm going to leave the window box standard at the moment basically what this is saying our achievement rect is equal to a GUI window we have our window ID in here we have our achievement rect in here we have the name of our function and then the name on top of it so that will be the name at the top of the window in this case it will just be achievements now with that done we can go back down to our function down here and then we can add some more in so now what we need to do is well to begin with we're going to have to add the scroll function so we have to do a score achievement scroll position equals a gui dot begin scroll view and a new rect so this is the square where it scrolls or rectangle or whatever shape you make it so because this is inside the window rect I'm going to say it's 0 from the left 60 from the top so there's a nice padding for a tile uh, it's got achievements window rect dot height minus uh, 122 why not gives us a substantial gap at the bottom oh I know what I've just done achievements scroll window rect dot width there we go minus five so you know you probably won't have seen this before. This is basically the scroll window that we are going to be creating. So everything inside this here will scroll. It starts from sixty at the from it starts from zero from the left, sixty from the top, which gives enough room for a tile. Then I've put it I choose width dot five, so I have a five pixel gap on the right so I can add the scroll bar and then achievements dot height I've put 122 because I want a, a gap at the bottom to add an achievement counter on and then what I want to do is after this I want to do underscore scroll position new rect zero 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 um, two thousand and then I'm going to say false and then true now this might be a bit confusing right now this is saying it scrolls it doesn't start the it's the zero is the top there's no pattern at the top the left hand side and it's the scrolls this is no pattern at the top of the left hand side of the designated scroll area I've just put here then it starts at zero 
and it can go down to a limit of 2000 later on what we'll probably do is uh, only scroll as far as the achievements but for now 2000 is enough I think false means it doesn't scroll from left to right there's no left to right scroll and true means that it will always so that false will not show the basically this bar here and true is always going to show this bar here now what we need to do is again put int i equals zero I'm just going to put it up here that way I can use it in any functions I've got down below Uh, four, uh, four. Getting a for loop now. Int y equals zero. Y is less than underscore y slots. Y plus plus. The GUI dot box the new rect return zero plus y times by uh, eighty will probably be high enough for our achievements. Now an achievement menu window width dot width minus fifty and then I want seventy high and at the moment we don't have any name for it and I'm gonna leave the box standard for now. I'm going to put a rect slot rect equals a new rect fifteen five plus y. Times eighty, sixty, sixty. GUI dot box slot rect empty and then slot icon. And then underneath slots, slots I equals achievements. <coughs> and I believe I should capitalize that. Now, <sighs> this script is taking the longest. So then we want to do if slots i dot achievement name. is not equal to no we're going to do a function uh, 
tutorials I should get on for 25 minutes. Oh, this is going to be one of the longest tutorials, I think. Now, what I need to do is do a GUI dot draw texture slot rect slot. I got achievement icon. So this is where the moment we are filling out that if it's not if the slot has an achievement name that's not equal to null, it will draw a texture in there. We we'll draw this stuff in here. So I want to do a GUI dot label. Is a new rect. Start with not even on the left to give us enough space for the slot icon. We do five plus y times by. 80, 225 and then I want to colour for this so we're going to actually if anybody's quite uh, if anybody's done any web programming before like web editing or anything hex colours you can use them in coding as well and um, that's what we're going to do uh, it's slightly different to how you do it on a website but what we do is do this Color, the American way of doing it, and then equals. And what color do I want? I quite like blue, I believe. So six six nine nine zero zero, I believe the hex color is for that. And then you, and the angle bracket. Then what you do is you do a plus, and then you do slots. I. Dot, achievement status. Then you do a plus again, and then, and then you close it up. It's basically what we've done. Is that achievement status? No, I believe I messed up. That's actually achievement name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Name. What am I thinking? So I want the achievement name. Oh, is that green? I think I might be blue actually. Never mind. Now I want to do another GUI dot label. Is a new rect. So as before, start it as not E again. This, however, this time we're actually going to start this as 30 plus y times by 80. Now I want this as 400 because it's going to be the description. Whereas the top one was the achievement title, the achievement name. This was going to be the achievement description. And 25. And then what we want to do is want to. Believe, yeah, I want another color as well. Oh, sticky keys. Yeah. Well, this is another color as well. So, what I want to do is color again equals hash. Uh, what color do I want? 3399 FF. That might be green. We'll soon see. Coding is a science, I guess. Plus, and then we do slots. Not slot rect. Slots. I. Dot achievement description. 
and then we do a plus again and then this I don't believe you have to add these forward slash ends, I'll just do it it dictates a new line I guess So now we have the name and the description set up along with the icon to go with it. Uh, we are now going to add some uh, little, well now we've got the rectangle, we want the little uh, text here that says locked or unlocked when we've got it. So what we can do is if slot i dot achievement status because we code that in in our variables is not equal to achievement variables dot achievement status dot and then we have locked or unlocked so I'm going to say locked I'm going to do a GUI dot label to new rect underscore achievement window width dot width and we want to stay if the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to start it from the right hand side going to the left so it's 100 minus 150 pixels from the left from the right And now we want to have 5 plus y times by, I believe, 80, like we've been always doing. Yeah, 80, like we've always been doing. And let it do 100, then 25. Now we're going to set up the colour of it again. So, colour equals hash. And three three nine nine zero zero and then plus slots I dot achievement status plus else and we can just copy this GUI here but just change the colour and I believe we're going to change this one to red so I believe it is I think the easiest red colour is CC1234 I think that's the easiest colour to do because this is the unlocked and locked st statuses and then after that we just need to do a I plus plus oh I oh know I did a type up here it's going to be that and then after that what I want to do is do a GUI dot end scroll view And then for now that seems all right. Now underneath here, what I want to do is do a void add achieve for add an achievement. 
And this is what I was trying to show before, however I hadn't scripted all this in yet because I'm thinking too much. Oh and int ID. What I wanna do is for int uh, int i equals zero i is less than achievements uh, yeah achievements dot count i plus plus It's saying i is zero to begin with. If i is less than achievement, the number of achievements we have, then i keeps this for loop here keeps executing over and over and over again until the i is the same amount as the count. And then if achievements i the achievements name is equal to equal to null and for yeah we run that letters J equals zero J is less than underscore A database dot achieve dot count j plus plus not j value j plus plus now what oh uh whoops not j value j Too many typos. Now, if I just got a database dot achieve I no sorry J. dot achievement id equals equals to id I'm going to do achievements achievements i equals underscore a database dot achieve j And then here yeah, we're just gonna do break. Bit of a confusing function. <laughs> um, this is what took me so long to do this. Um, in my head, this sounds easy, but trying to explain it is very hard. I had to record this like seven times. Um, this for loop here is saying that i is zero i if i is less than achievements the count of achievements we have then i keeps in integrating over and over and over not pushing itself over and over and over and then if achievements i dot achievement name equals equals n equals nothing and it executes under here so it's for saying int j equals zero j is less than a database dot achievement dot count j plus plus and this basically saying i is equal to j by mixing by mixing the achievement number count to the database number count so both of them end up the same at the end I hope that kind of explained it but probably not I want to do a ball achievement Achievement contains. We can use int id again. Um, <coughs> ball res 
result was false. Hmm. I think I have a problem in my list. Oh well. We shall see. We'll do a four int i equals zero. I is less than achievements dot count not contains count. I plus plus. Result equals achievements I dot dot achievement ID equals ID. If result break. And down here, return result. <sighs> and then, oh look, all the red's gone. <laughs> oh, Visual Studio. This is basically saying the ball is achievement contained and its ID, saying ball result equals false to begin with. For in uh, and I've explained what that does before. Result equals achievement i dot achievement id and saying it's the id. If result break and then returns the result. This is just getting all the IDs of all the achievements. Now if I go all the way back to the top, don't worry everyone. This is almost over. <laughs> you can go all the way up to the top where I had before. Uh, add achieve, does it work now? Add achieve, yes it does. And what achievement database do we have? See, one is using the hidden achievement, but two is correct. So if it has our, whoops, so what I want to do is if it, if it has the key, I'm going to put two in there. Oh, I did have the achievement unlocks. For now, I'm not going to add the, do the achievement unlocks. Else, and add achieve uh, one, I believe it was. Now, this is just a test to begin with. I'm just going to save this off. It's a lot of work. Now we're going to go back into Unity here. What we're going to do is we're going to create. Uh, create empty, there we go. And then we're just going to call it Achievement. Achievement Database. And then where's our Achievement Database script? Here it is. And attach it. Achievement Database attached. And then what I want to do is go edit, project settings, script execution order. So it executes scripts, certain scripts at certain times. This is great for, say, if you want what we're going to do now, actually. What we're going to do is we're going to have the achievement database script uh, set at 200. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have the main menu script at 300. Now we're going to click apply. This is so our database script runs before our main menu so all the database objects are loaded before our main menu loads. So if this works, hopefully it does, 
Oh, I know why it hasn't. We haven't added a button for it. So I'm just going to add a simple button on the main menu. On the first menu. Uh, I'm just going to copy this one here. Copy. And put it in the top. Uh, 10 screen height minus 100. Minus 135. And just click achievements. Church of New Eagles trip. Right now. That should have an achievement button now. There we go, achievements. If I click achievements, it shows up a very, very buggy achievements. And I think I just crashed Unity. And I did. I actually just crushed Unity. Oh wait. There we go. Maybe not. Oh, that's why. Couldn't find slot icon. Oh. Couldn't find slot icon in skin, in GUI skin. Nice. I need to get my GUI skin. And let's create one. Uh, six. And slot icon. Normal hover active. Um, Hidden achievement. We'll use a hidden achievement for this slot icon. Let's see if I can crash it again. No, there we go. We've got the slot icons in there. For the moment, it's not registering all the achievement details at the moment. Oh. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> go to achievement database. <laughs> Click add tag. Uh, tags. It's plus a tag and call it achievement. Uh, achievement database. And then we go back into achievement database. Click tags. Uh, tag as achievement database. Now play again. See if this works now. There we go. It works, look. <laughs> just welcome to my game, thank you for playing my game. Uh, at the moment we've got all the default hidden achievement icons, but I will say that, and it has up here, it's locked. Now if I say, uh, when we click this button, say, uh, I'm going to say player prefs dot Set string. Uh, what did I say we needed? If I have the player press that, okay. Copy. Uh, I think I just went there. We go. And then just say true. Doesn't matter what you have in there. There you go. That way I can just. So you've seen it before. And if I click the achievements, it should come up. Uh, uh, did it work? Oh, this is unlocked, but it's not changed the icon. Nice. Which means I've probably got that mixed up. Let's see what happens. Oh 
no That's my achievement database. Oh. Yeah, one is hidden, two is unlocked, and we have a C1. Which is that one. I'm quite perplexed as to find out why that's not working now. I've already got it, it's true now. Now in the next tutorial, I think I'm going to redefine all of this. Because it's getting pretty long. But as you can see, we've got our achievements set out. It says locked up there. It has your name and uh, the description in there. And in the next tutorial, I think we're going to redefine slot icons. And get this whole thing looking a lot better. To conform to our GUI at the moment. Alright, I'm going to take Junkie. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.